There's something that's being translated as a DJ when you're playing, which um, the crowd can pick up. Even though they may not be able to articulate it, they're feeling whatever it is that you're sending out. If you're scratching and you see the audience getting hyped off of it, it makes you feel good and it makes you like, it makes you do things you didn't practice. I'm DJ Selsky. I'm DJ D'Android. And we've been DJing since 1997. And we're also the co-founders of Scratchpad and it's grown to a collective of DJs that, that started in 2003. So Scratchpad is a event that includes open turntables, we have people party rocking and we have special showcases by DJs, uh, MCs, uh, beat producers, and b-boys and b-girls. Growing up in Vallejo, we were surrounded by hip-hop culture. Um, it was all over the Bay Area, and at family parties, there was always a DJ. So as a kid, the DJ always caught my attention. So when I was in high school, I bought turntables because I wanted to learn how to mix. But then one night, DeAndroid and I and Dee's sister, Marie, we went to an event in Oakland called Planet Rock. <laughs> And it was a night that we saw the Scratch Pickles perform Qbert, Mixmaster Mike, and Shortcut. And that night was like an important uh, moment because it changed like our lives. After seeing them perform, we were just inspired. We didn't understand what they were doing. We heard the scratching and the juggling, but we were just like, after that, it was like a, a mission to learn what they were doing and to understand on the sounds that they were making. It helps to have someone to perform with because you're not just up there um, scratching or whatever you're doing. Uh, it could get boring, but when I'm up there with D, you're just bouncing back, back and forth. A lot of it is like improv, like jazz. It's really spontaneous, but then there's certain things that we do together that build over time. And in the past, we've um, worked with um, Lady Fingers and Cat Owano as um, La Femme Deadly Venoms, and we were able to just layer sounds because there was four of us. Technology has definitely advanced for DJs because when we started, we had to buy records and that's all we had. And now there's uh, programs like Tractor and Serato where you can actually play MP3s through your laptop. So when someone's actually scratching or beat juggling and using a real record, it feels different, it sounds different, and it, it feels that way too when you play with records, mixing real records versus MP3s. That's why we still prefer to use vinyl when we scratch because it's that warm tone of vinyl. It fills the room differently. That's what hip hop is. In essence, it's, it's like um, there's an energy that you're creating and that's what's empowering for the DJ because you're the creator of that vibe. <laughs>